Hey guys, today let's replicate and clone OpenAI's pricing model. So let's get to uh, OpenAI's pricing and you will see that they bill per token. So let's take the example of GPT-4. They bill the number of tokens used and the price is per thousand tokens. In addition to that, you have different prices for the types of models you have, so 8K or 32K and the type of uh, tokens that you use, which is the input or the output, right? So let's try and replicate that into LEGO. So first, let's create a billable metric. This billable metric is calculating the number of tokens. That's the metering, okay? You meter the number of tokens that is used. The type of this uh, aggregation is metered, meaning that you calculate the number of tokens within a period and then, for example, at the end of the month, it resumes to zero. Okay, so that would be a meter type. And on top of that, we will use an aggregation type to aggregate the total number of tokens. And to do that, today we are going to use the sum aggregation type. So we are summing the total number of tokens used. So let's say here, total. In addition to that, we've seen that you have different prices based on the model here and the type input or output. So let's build that within Lago. To do so, you can use a great feature that is called filters. Okay, so I'm going to add a new filter. And here, the first filter will be the model. So it can be here 8K. I'm going to paste the value here. And then the second one will be 30K. Okay, so we have two types of models. The second filter that we are going to use is called the type. And the type here is if the token is an input or if it's an output. Okay, so let's get here and say input. I'm going to add that. And the second one will be output. You can have an unlimited number of filters. So let's add this billable metric. All right, so we have a metric called token. Now let's get into creating a plan. So the goal of the, of the billable metric is to track usage and the goal of the plan is to price and package this usage. So I'm gonna add a new plan. This will be a full pay as you go plan. It's monthly, meaning that you're billed on a monthly basis. And there is no subscription fee there. It's only pay as you go. So I'm going to put here zero. And on top of that, I'm going to charge the number of tokens used. Okay. I'm going to go with a pricing called package. And the reason why is that OpenAI is pricing per thousand tokens. So that's the package. So let's get into what we call the package pricing. You can have the default price if uh, you send usage and there is no specific model, but we won't use that. I'm going to add a um, filter here. And the first one would be the model called 8K. And on top of that, we will bring here the 8K model input. That's my first charge I'm going to build to my customer. So here, in that case, <coughs> the 8K input is 0.03 dollars and remember it's per thousand token i could offer some free units but in that case there is no free unit so that's 8k inputs and i will do exactly the same 8k but for the output and for the output it's 0.06 exactly the same per thousand tokens used I'm going to do exactly the same for the model 32K. So I'm going to use the 32K model and have a filter for inputs. And this price here is 0.06 per thousand token. And I'm going to use the 32K models with a type output. And in that case, it's 0.12 dollars per thousand units. All right, so we have the price plan with a single metric called token and different prices based on the filters we've been defining. Uh, on top of that, you can add like very specific 
um, option, like if you want to add a minimum spend, that's totally possible. Or for example, a minimum commitment for the entire invoice. I won't use that, I'm just going to add the plan and I'm going to start billing a customer. So let's say I'm going to add a new customer. This customer is named Uli and it has an ID Uli1234. I'm going to create this customer and let's assign the plan we've been creating. So that would be a plan, subscription dates. Uh, the customer will be billed every second day of each month and we won't uh, override the value. We'll use the plan as it is, right? In that analytics tab, you can see the number of tokens used in real time by sending usage measurements. So we will do that. We will send some usage, but you can see here that you have the breakdown of price per filters you've been defining, okay? So I'm gonna send some usage. I'm gonna go into my personal account. The, the event would be uh, the tokens we use with the total number of tokens, for example. And here I'm gonna send an example for the models used. So let's say, for example, I'm gonna build the 30K as a model and the type would be, let's say, output. Okay, so I'm gonna send uh, 440 units uh, for the tokens used and let's send that. So we've been sending the event, here it's the response of the event and in real time you can see that the usage is increasing. We are building per thousand token. Okay, so I'm going to send once anytime something is happening on your, on your back end, you can send usage and in real time you can see that the pricing is evolving. And we can do the same with every single filter we have. So let's say, for example, we are using the 8K model and this time it's an input and you're sending, for example, 5,000 tokens used. In that case, again, in real time, you will see that flowing into your application and you will have the breakdown of prices here. This is how you can clone OpenAI's pricing model by using Lego.